Lewis County wants to go back to sharing the cost of care for certain defendants, a 50-50 split. Right now, the county has to pay the full tab. We learn more with Seven News reporter Mark Mason Jr. When a defendant stands in a courtroom and is deemed mentally unfit to understand the charges against them, that defendant is sent to state-operated hospitals, not for full mental health treatment, but until they do understand the trouble they're in. That is something the Lewis County Board of Legislators hopes the state will clarify. The intent and purpose of this is to assist this person so that they can actively participate in the legal process. I think what is a lot really misconstrued is the fact that this isn't traditional mental health treatment. The cost of helping defendants understand is 100% placed on county taxpayers. County officials are concerned that because of the state's lack of clarification on what being fit to stand trial is in regards to the mentally ill or developmentally disabled, defendants are being held in hospitals for too long, costing local taxpayers even more money. Right now, the cost of one defendant is around $1,400 a day. A year could cost a county around $400,000 for just one defendant. That money could literally, in a year, hire five licensed counselors who would then serve 300 clients. Or um, it could hire six case managers um, who would serve 200 clients. Lewis County officials want to go back to the way it was paid for in 2020 and 2021, a 50-50 split between state and counties. The state program, they're controlling the court system, they're controlling the section, they're controlling the institutions that these defendants are sent to. So they have control of everything and they pay for absolutely nothing. State Assemblyman Ken Blankenbush represents the law in Lewis County, and he says after being a county legislator and chairman, he 100% understands the frustration our counties are feeling in regards to CPL 730. Statement Blankenbush said, the governor and Democrat-driven legislature continue to make laws which do not make sense or work, but yet require taxpayers to foot the bill. This is another example of the state passing down uncontrollable cost to the local level. As Lewis County looks to change this back to a 50-50 split, it's looking for support from other counties. Mark Mason, Jr., 7 News.